Hey everyone, it's Kathy Norris, Iridology Fusion. I want to talk to you eye to eye today about a beautiful eye that we're going to see. It's really something else, but I want to get in here and show it to you. So let me share my screen. There we go. Wow. Isn't this something? We can look in this eye and we can see a lot of detail going on. Automatically, we know that it's a lymphatic eye. Automatically, we know it's uh, uric acid eye. But the client came in and was complaining about mid-back pain. And it radiated down through the front of her leg, almost into her quads. I got to thinking, huh, let me look this over and see what I can see. Well. I asked a question first and I said, are you, are you having any bladder issues? Are you noticing any more urination than normal? And she said a tremendous amount. She said, I even feel like I have a little bit of incontinence going on. I asked if she had all of her organs present. Did she have uterus and ovaries intact? And she's had a hysterectomy. So everything is gone. And she did have previous problems with that. So as I looked around in the eye, and there's a lot to see in the eye when you're looking at the lacuna that stand out, you're looking at different colored pigments. I just drew my attention based on what she said, which was her chief complaint about mid back area, kind of going low towards the hips. And I really honed in on this area right here in blue. If you look, we see a small open fork. And this is going right into that mid-back area. Now, on our iridology chart, when we look at this, we're going to see that the liver and the gallbladder is in this area. It's in that 8 o'clock position where this lacuna is. But this being the area of the muscles and the bone is what was drawn to me. That's what I focused on was the woman's chief complaint. And where in the world could this be coming from? Well, look, look at the bladder. We have perifocal lightning around this lacuna. And look what's tucked up inside there. Wow, we've got a pigment setting. Look what's in the uterus area. Another problem. Now it's gone. We can see that with all this business going on in this area, it's no wonder that it's gone. But I wanted to draw my attention again. Why is she having this pain? What could be affecting this bladder, causing this lacuna to have a perifocal sign? And it dawned on me that I was looking at the psoas muscle. Now, Am I specifically looking at the psoas muscle? No. When you learn about the psoas muscle and how it is starting its beginning in our core, it moves down under the kidneys and into our legs. And it's what connects our legs to our body. It is one of the longest muscles we have in the body. And it is a powerful muscle. It helps us with breathing. So it's tucked up under that diaphragm. That's about where that starts is below our diaphragm, but it aids in breathing as well. So when we take a look over in this area of the lung, we do see a pigment in this area of the lung. I want to draw your attention around this Pig, uh, not a pigment, it's a lacuna, but it is a perifocal lacuna around the heart. So it was just another reason to me that my client, because she has uric acid subtype, she needs to stay ultra hydrated, ultra hydrated. She's not drinking much because she's having a lot of frequent urination. And why is she having a lot of frequent urination? Is it because she's missing a uterus and she's she's had a hysterectomy? That might be a little part of it, but go back to the chief complaint. The chief complaint is, I hurt in my mid-back muscle.
I chalked it up to being the psoas muscle. And after that, and I talked to her about strengthening the psoas muscle, she maybe even need to get involved with a little bit of chiropractics. But if she could go on YouTube and watch some videos on how to strengthen the psoas muscle, and in less than two weeks, she gave me a phone call and she said, you were right. I did the exercises. My leaky bladder is starting to get better. I'm not having as much problems as what I was. The pain is less in my back. And she fit, said she felt like her legs were even getting stronger. Now, she didn't even complain about that. That was just a little side benefit. That's a pretty good side benefit, isn't it? So I want to just put that little, in, little bit in your mind. The Cranial Nerves and Muscle Mapping book that I came out with, and I'm sure you've not heard much about it because that's all I've been doing is talking a lot about it. Anyways, it's out. I talk about the psoas muscle towards the end of the book. There's a section on muscle mapping, and I focus specifically on that psoas muscle because it is a heavy hitter. I would really, really love for you to be able to attend the IPA Symposium as a hybrid attendee. If you can't attend in person, I understand it's a trip, but I really want you to get this education because this is going to elevate your education. This is going to kick you up a notch. You're going to be smarter. You're going to be stronger right there. You're going to be a better iridologist. And that's what I want to see. That's where I want you to go with it. As always, I appreciate what you're doing. You're helping so many people. Every time you look in someone's eyes, you are helping them. You might not know it and they might not tell you, but I'll tell you, you're helping someone. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you.